people ask me for advice all the time, which like, why? Why? But a piece of advice that I give like more than any other piece of advice usually involves a situation like this. Pretend I'm the person asking for advice. Hi, so I like person X. I would like to do mutual face touchy things with person X, but I'm shy and I don't know what to do to make that happen. Normally I end up saying something along the lines of life is too short just go for it and ask them. Just straightforward, direct approach. I give that advice all the time. I'm the worst at it. That's 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 the problem. That's the that's the, that's the contradiction there. Making the first move is really hard for shy people, and I am a shy people for sure. I was seeing a girl in high school, and it took me six dates to finally kiss her, despite the fact that I wanted to every single time that I took her home. And eventually, I didn't even do the kissing. She grabbed my face. Right? So, yeah. I'm the kind of person that needs to be invited in and have like a five-step verification situation before I know that I am good to go and ask the hard questions. And by hard questions, I mean, hey, do you want to go out sometime? I'd like to say that I'm getting better at it. I'd like to say that. I don't know if it's true, but I like to say it. It sounds nice. It makes me feel good about myself. Here's what I have attempted to do in my life. Just kind of break it down to like what actually the issue is here. Let's say I want to ask somebody out to go on a date, right? That's the issue at hand. That's it. My brain, being the ridiculous hunk of brain that it is, will extrapolate this into like, oh my gosh, if they say no, my life is ruined. Everything is ruined. I hate everything and everyone, and I'm going to give up and live in a cave. That's what my brain does. That's what it does. But I try to reel it back and remember, hey, look, this situation is real simple. It's real simple. Either this person says, yeah, and you're like, all right, good to go. Or this person says, no, and you move on with your life. I have a tendency to sit on situations and feelings and people in sort of like this unknown limbo state for an extended period of time and nothing gets resolved and I'm just kind of there in that unknown limbo state and that's not good for my life. It kind of stalls everything and you don't want to be stalling, right? Stalling is bad. You want to do things because, right, I could die tomorrow, and if I die stalling, well, that's definitely no bueno, not a fan of it. So how do we make the first move? How do we do it? Because it is scary. It's a scary thing, but like it shouldn't really be scary because while I do represent important steps in maybe a potential relationship with another person, they're really just simple questions. And if you think about it in the present, it's such a simple thing. It's so simple. The potential of the no is almost like the scariest part of this because like the no itself is actually kind of a relief because then you're like, okay, I know what to do to move forward now. But the potential no, that's what's scary to me. And that's what usually keeps me from doing stuff. All this anxiety and this fear is over a concept, not even a real thing, right? And that's true of so many parts of my life personally, and I'm sure it's part of other people's lives as well. So understand what that fear is. Don't try and get rid of it, because like having the fear is like a good human thing to be able to be afraid of things. I think it's a good thing, but just know what it is and then try and take it and use it for something cool. The analogy of the band-aid, when you just slowly work that crap off, it just prolongs the pain. Pain, right? When you just go for it, rip that stuff off and just deal with how scared you are in that moment, it's just, it, it, you get it over with. And most of the time the result is either positive or it's just kind of like, meh, okay, let's move on. Let's make each other a promise, guys. Let's do it. Let's make a promise right now, you and me. Next time an opportunity presents itself to go for something, go for it. Question it, for sure. Maybe sit on it for a while, make sure it's the right move, but go for it. I'm, ma I'm making this promise too. Right? It's not just me talking at you, I'm talking with you. With you. Because the universe is fickle, right? It's a very fickle creature. Like, it'll give you an opportunity and then, like, real quick it'll change its mind and be like, nah, nah, never mind. Never mind, I don't want to do that. So might as well try and snatch up as many opportunities as possible because, like, that's how you get stuff done. That's how you do it. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to continue the conversation, there's comments. You can check those out. But uh, yeah, as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome. And uh, I will see you guys on Monday. Ah! Boo! Because it's Halloween. I hope you have a great night where, wherever you're doing with your night on this night of scary stuff. And in general, just wacky antics. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be chilling here, um, but I'm festive, says Boo, right? Cause I celebrate holidays. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a cool day and that you either get a lot of candy or maybe get to make out with some 
person that you like, or maybe a character that you like that a person that you maybe don't like so much is dressed up as. That's a win. That's a win.